I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. In this video, we will learn how to convert units in degrees. You could have degrees in decimals. You could also have degrees in degrees, minutes and seconds. So we'll see how to convert units when given in degrees, minutes and seconds to degrees in decimals and vice versa. In short, one degree can be written as equal to how many minutes? One degree is equal to 60 minutes. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So from here, combining the two, we can also say that one degree is equal to 60 times 60 or 3600 seconds. So this is a relation which can help you convert from degrees, minutes, seconds to decimals and from degrees in decimals to DMS. So let's take these four examples one by one. Here are the first two where we are going to convert the angles given in degrees, minutes and seconds to angles in degrees with decimals. I would like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So when we write 43 point, when we write 43 degrees and 30 minutes, we want to write this as 43 point some minutes, right? And some seconds. So how are we going to do it? Well, 43 degrees can be written as such. As far as minutes are concerned, we know to convert minutes to degrees, we'll have to divide that by 60, right? So we'll multiply 30 by 1 over 60. That gives you 43 degrees plus, and when you divide this, you get 0 0.5. And this becomes in degrees because you converted this minute into 1 over 60, where every minute was equal to 1 60th of a degree. Correct? So in this particular case, as we know that one degree is equal to 60 minutes, the reverse is that one minute will be equal to one over 60 degrees. So in doing so, we converted the units into degrees. So one degree is equal to one over 60 minutes. So minutes and minutes got canceled and you get 0.5 degrees. Perfect. And now you could write this as your answer, which is 43.5 degrees. So we have converted degrees and minutes to only degrees but with decimals perfect so that is your final answer so you could write this as 43.5 degrees now let's take the second example in which we have degrees minutes and seconds so degrees will be written as such which is 10 degrees now we are going to convert 20 minutes into degrees. So we are going to multiply this by 1 over 60. For seconds, we'll multiply by 1 over 3600. So we'll plus 55 times 1 over 3600. Now let's use the calculator to calculate this out. So we have 10 plus 20 divided by 60. And to this, we are going to add 55 divided by 
3600. When you do so, you get in decimals number equals to 10.3486. This is in degrees. So let's round it to three decimal places as 10.349 degrees. So we have converted degrees, minutes, and seconds into degrees with decimals, right? Now let's take the next example where we are going to convert from degrees in decimals to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So here are question number three and four. So we have 25.24 degrees. We need to convert this to degrees, minutes, and seconds, and then 45.678 degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So I hope the process is absolutely clear. I would like you to pause the video and answer this question, and then check with my solution. Now, as you know, one degree is equal to 60 seconds, minutes. So we could write this as 25 plus that is 0 0.24 now 0 point that is in degrees 0 0.24 should be multiplied by 60 to get the units in minutes right so let's do this part and see what do we get 0.24 times 60 gives us in decimals 14.4 so what we get here is equal to 25 degrees plus 14.4 minutes. Now 0.4 minutes should also be converted to seconds. So we are going to now add seconds to our units. We already have 14 minutes and now we'll add 0 0.4 times 60 to convert that to seconds. Now let's multiply this also. 0.4 times 60 gives us so 24. So what we get here is 25 degrees, 14 minutes, and 24 seconds. Did you see that? So each decimal part is now converted in steps as you have seen here. So first we converted the decimal into minutes and then into seconds and then we wrote the answer. Is that clear to you? So likewise, let's do the next one also. So here we have 45 degrees. The decimal part is 678. So 0.678 will be multiplied by 60 to get the minutes. So let's do it. We get 0.678 times 60 gives us 40.68. So this can be written as 45 degrees plus 40.68 minutes. Now 0.68 minutes can be converted to seconds. So we'll write this as 45 degrees plus 40 minutes plus 0 0.68 minutes times 60 to give us seconds. So 0 0.68 times 60 gives us 40.8. We'll write that in decimals. So what we have here is 45 degrees, 40 minutes, and 40.8 seconds. Let's round this. So when you round, you get 45 degrees, 40 minutes, and 40.8, I'm writing as 41 seconds. So do you see that conversion? So these are the steps being followed to convert from degrees in decimals to degrees, minutes, and seconds. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So with that, we come to an end of this video and you have learned how to convert the units of angles when given in degrees, minutes and seconds to decimal equivalent of degrees and the reverse.
thanks for your time and all the best